Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to install Traceco Master and how to use it. Uh, you First off, you go over to the Traceco Master website right here. Make sure you get yourself an account. And as you see right here, there's a lot of drop down menus. There's an add on drop down menu. There's a desktop um, drop down menu. There's an auction drop down menu. I'll actually go over um, most of these items. As we're looking for other guides, just so go to the desktop drop down menu and go click on how to set up and it's going to give you a basic overview of how to set up uh, TSM properly. After you finish configuring TSM it's going to look like step 8 in game and what does the, the tooltip show you? It's going to show you um, real market value, market value with the region, it's going to give you all this good information which is pretty good if you want to have a basic understanding of items on the AH. If you are brand new to TSM, I would strongly recommend to download every single TSM add-on and if you are not um, comfortable with using one add-on over another, you can just straight up just not use it or just uh, disable it into the add-on menu. All these add-ons do have a nice feature towards it. Um, the TSM shopping, the TSM vendoring, the TSM warehousing. It makes life a little bit easier, but you do need to do a lot more work. You are going to put a lot of effort into this add-on, but in the long run, it's actually going to pay off. You're going to probably get more gold or even faster sales. You could download all these TSM add-ons on the Curse Client. Curse Client is a good um, add-on manager. Um, I would recommend get the one from Sapu94. He's the developer, the author of Trace the Master. All the other ones are third party. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes they're outdated. So go check that out. If you guys are looking for more guides, uh, just go to the Trace Master website, just go to guide. Uh, there's one from Share of Fat Loot. If you guys want to get really in-depth with uh, TSM, just go to Share's profile. But if you're, you're brand new, I would recommend using Fat Loot. If you're more comfortable with written guides, there is written guides. I would strongly recommend getting the desktop application. The reason is that it's going to scan the auction house hourly. It's going to scan the auction house hourly. So you don't actually have to sit at the auction house and scan it manually. It's going to give you an up-to-date price source of a certain item. If you guys are wondering, Wild Auction is no longer available uh, via TSM. TSM has uh, phased that out. There's also a Mac version if you guys have Mac. If you guys are using the TSM desktop application, I would recommend you to uh, make put up your realms. You go over to that little drop-down menu to the bottom. It's, you just click if you're US or EU and just pick whatever realm you are. And just go click Add Realm. And if you want to remove the realm, just of course press Remove. After you set up the TSM desktop application, it should look like this. I have all the realms and it says up to date. Click the settings. After, um, after you click the settings tab, you, you go over here. Of course, you're going to be setting up the realms. You already did that. If you guys want to do a force update, set up your realm, log out of your TSM desktop application, and re log back in. So it's going to. Your ROM is going to be updated faster instead of waiting for the hour for it to actually update. This does have a lot of features. I guess like a general tab has notifications. If you guys want to have a backup of your TSM stuff, it's going to have it's going to have a backup. And if you guys want to have an upload app log, if you want to like export it to a CSV for like an Excel file of how much gold you have totally earned through your realm or through your characters, you can do that. But I forgot to mention that make sure you put up your stuff to the correct WoW direct. My WoW directory is on my G drive and it's called World of Warcraft. Uh, for the people that are installing World of Warcraft normally, it will be on their C drive, program files, World of Warcraft. After you get into the game, there's two ways to pop up the TSM menu. Just go to forward slash TSM and it's going to pop up. If you look onto your minimap, there's also a minimap icon. Just You just click that and that's all pops up the TSM menu. First enter to TSM menu, it's going to give you, it's going to have, show up all these uh, modules. It has the TSM features, it has the TSM options, it has uh, groups, operations, uh, accounting, crafting, and destroying. We're, go, we're going to go a little bit over each of those items. If you guys are wondering what these modules do, you just go uh, over here and just scroll down. It's going to give you like a rough, uh, brief description of what uh, each module does. An inventory viewer, which is going to give you showing what you have in your inventory and shows you the total value and other stuff. And there's a thing called like a total. It says my total value is forty nine thousand gold. Go to the macro setup. I would recommend setting this up. You can set it up to like destroy, uh, auction tab, cancel tab, and buy all the stuff and create. If it doesn't work the first time, just keep spamming it so it works. 
I have it set up with a modifier of control and the scroll up and scroll down wheel. A custom price source is a source where it uh, distinguish how much a primal spirit's worth or how much a hex weave cloth is worth. So, <clears throat> so when you first walk up to, so when you first walk up to the AH, the the menu is going to look a little bit different from the WoW default. It gives you all these options. Uh, it goes to the custom auth filter, other sources, uh, search, say TSM, TSM groups. And it's going to look very very complicated at first. What a vendor search is, what a vendor search is, it finds stuff on the AH that's below a uh, vendor value. But as you may see right here, I'm not I'm not gonna get anything. It finds items that's below the disenchant value. Let's say if we find like a one gold item and I look at the disenchant value it says three to five gold, so I'm gonna potentially make about four gold if I sell that uh, dis that enchantable item on the AH. The thing I like about TSM, I'm able to do the same functionality as the WoW default. Like I if I want to look up for weapons, or I want to look up for a specific uh, subclass, I want to look up for miscellaneous and mounts. And the great thing about TSM, it shows them all in one page instead of going through like 10, 20, 30 pages. It's gonna put them all on one page. And if you wanna look up uh, individual um, items, like if there's like 10 of each item, which it shows up right here, you just double double left click and they'll show, uh, show up a drop down menu of all those other mounts or items. You may not have this built in. It's uh, called the TSM Great Deals thing. Uh, it is only for premium users, but I'll show you a way you could do it uh, being a non-premium member um, later. But what this Great Deals is, is going to show up items that is potential great sales or great buys. You buy uh, you buy low and sell for high. So we're getting a lot of good items right now. Um, a lot of plans, a lot of designs. I don't I'm not I don't feel comfortable about flipping items, but you could do that. Right now, I want to be looking for linen cloth. I want to uh, show you how fast you could buy items on the AH with that control, uh, that macro earlier. You just go over here. I want to buy those, and instead of buying it one by one, which is kind of annoying, and uh, if you use your control macro, you'll see how fast I'll, I'll be buying them. It's a lot faster buying items or posting up items when you want to use this uh, con this uh, macro compared to doing it the um, WoW default way. But with TSM mailing, it has like these all these options where it has the AH sales, AH buys, AH cancels, and AH ex expires. If you just want to get a specific type of thing, if you just want to get sales, you could just do that. If you just want to get buys, you could do that, um, etc. With cancels. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to repost all those items I just got from my bank and I just do a shift click and I just do a post and I could do it at whatever stacks I want. I do I want to do a stack at 69 for some odd reason just pop that up and just put them and just go maximum and boom done within seconds. Now we're going to now we're going to talk about how to set up groups. You go over to your groups tab, you're in the TSM menu, and let's say, let's make a new group, call it uh, TSM new, and just press OK. And this is a little trick you could do if you want to do, if you want to look for a specific type of uh, common, epic, uh, just do it forward slash common, epic, or rare, or uncommon, and it's going to show it up. And you can just add it over to the group. But if I just want to, if I just want to add all, I just press enter, 
uh, in the filter. Just don't press anything, just press enter and then just add. And there it goes, it moves from the ungrouped items over to the grouped items. Then let's say, and you could do an import strings, you could do an export strings if you want to import an item. Uh, there you go, like you see there, it's in the group. And if you want to, if you want to export your groups, you could do that. Just go press export group item and copy this and give it to your friend or um, put it on a, oh, a good forum and just boom. And <clears throat> okay, let's make an operation for this. Uh, let's call it because uh, there's no operations. Uh, let's go create a new operation and we'll just call it, uh, I think TSM new is a pretty good name. Um, Press OK. Uh, the WoW default, or not the WoW default, but the TSM default is going to have it at 24 hours post capital one undercut amount by one copper, and for the minimum, maximum, and the normal is five, five hundred, and normal. And it does have a mini, a win below minimum, po not don't post item, and once above the maximum, post that normal. You can change it up with the drop down menu. You can change up how much you want to post. Uh, want to change up the uh, stack quantity, how much you want to keep, uh, how much expires it is. If you have so many expires and you just don't want to deal with it, you just straight you could just straight vendor it if you want. And if you see right here, you could just uh, change up to a crafting auction DB historical value. There's some good uh, price sources onto the side. You go to the website Traceco Master and just go to custom price source. Um, I'll give you a link down in the description down below. Um, which uh, custom prices I currently use. I'm currently using someone else's profile, uh, Shayra's. I would recommend go check that out. But if you're new to TSM, which most of you guys are, probably are, I would recommend using Fat Loose's uh, operations. What I just did here, I did a post cap, so it's a post up all these items, and I just do boop, 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 done, and uh, for the fact of the video, uh, if you do not set up your operations or your minimum price or your maximum price or your uh, percentages, it's only going to post it at, at the TSM default, which you could mistakenly put up a high price item for 5 gold, 10 gold, 100 gold. And with all the items I have, you see the total value of my auctions right now is at 18k gold. You could do a cancel all scan. You could do a cancel scan or a cast, uh, cancel filter of uh, different stuff you just want to straight up cancel. You could do that. Or you just go to cancel all auctions and you just go uh, use a control scroll wheel and you can do that. And just quickly just cancel them. If you guys want to change the appearance of your TSM window, you could just go over to your options, the TSM options tab. You could go over to the TSM option tabs, go to the tab that says appearance and you can change the color of what you like. I can't, I like the way that Shara had it on her old profile and you just could just mess around with it. You make it more unique, more special, uh, more in tune with you. But I kind of like it's blue. I like blue. So that's why I picked that color. And you could just go to the TSM um, accounting and it's going to show you all this other stuff. It, it, uh, it could tell you uh, how much you spend on the item, how much uh, you posted the item, how much you bought it. You could show up how much you resold it, your failed auctions, your items, and your player gold. It shows you all this information. Here's my account summary. This is how much gold I currently made within the last 30 days. It tells you which item I made, uh, how much is my sum amount of gold amongst all my characters, guild banks, and other stuff. The great thing about TSM crafting, the crafting module, if you guys have a lot of alts and you have a, most of the professions, it's going to tell you uh, the materials you use, the craft stuff, and you actually could set it up where it gives you a cooldown reminder. If you go over to the cooldown thing, it would tell you uh, once you popped up your profession tab, it's going to pop it up and say you need to make this, that, but you to have you must have the items to actually craft it. So you see you have all these set up. I set it to a smart a smart craft so it make it for not make it for me but it's gonna remind me kind of, it's kind of like a, it bugs me a little bit say hey you need to craft this. And what is this gonna sh uh, sh uh, 
what the TSM uh, what does the TSM profession tab looks like this is what it looks like you get it's exactly the same the way you set up with your parents and it shows you this you can actually move it around you can actually extend the frame if you want or make the frame a little bit smaller and as a, it has the same options as the regular uh, WoW default it has the filters a show link and other stuff like that We're gonna go over uh, something called TSM Destroy. To actually, pop up the menu. You could just type in forward slash TSM Destroy. It's gonna pop up this menu. Uh, a lot of people have the misconception that destroying means like it's actually gonna straight up delete it, but it's actually just gonna be prospecting it. If you have that control macro, you just hold control and you scroll up and down, and it's gonna make the item. Like I'm right now, I'm gonna be uh, uh, destroying uh, slash prospecting the items. And if I don't want to uh, use the item, I just left click and boom. I don't want to use that, so I'm going to use my ghost iron ore and I'll start prospecting. And it, <clears throat> and it makes life a little bit easier because the way that you had to do it, you had to click the prospect button and click the, the stack of ore. With this, you could just go keep spamming the control scroll of prospecting and just go boom, boom, boom over and over. And it just makes life a little bit easier than the wild default, personally in my opinion. So currently what I'm looking for is uh, in my group search I have uh, I have this set up with a uh, searching type of group and I just want to stop it and if I want to buy these items right away go can use my control click boom 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 you see all these items are getting bought within seconds within like mere seconds of each other and if I want to go click on the item I want I just go left click and just go poop control scroll control scroll control scroll over and over again. So what I'm doing right here is setting up my uh, TSM sniping. Um, you can change up the below custom price source down here. Right now it's at check min price 100G. Um, you got to change up to a different operation. Um, what I'm doing now is changing the sound of the original TSM. It's going to have it uh, cast register. And I'm going to go over and uh, go start sniper and it's going to go to ching cha ching and say these are potential good buys. So I could try to flip them for gold and you might get something good I got three TCG items for one copper so that was a pretty good snipe and what does this market value uh, on the right side it means like it's below market value uh, usually it's probably about like 100 gold or 50 gold 20 gold and if you get it below market value which I usually buy the stuff at blue so I'm gonna be make potential profit off of the items I'm going to go over talking about a little bit of uh, TSM crafting queues. You go over to your TSM groups uh, if you have uh, showed up to uh, whatever your profession is, but it, it does take a lot of work to actually get used to. You just go over to here. I want to select this uh, tailoring and I just go restock selected groups and it's going to go boom. It's going to show up these, uh, this craft queue and it goes over to my professions. You see my estimated uh, cost for making all these items is about 31k. And for my estimated profit is about 114k gold. So if you guys want to make a lot go a lot of gold, craft, craft, craft. So if you guys have the macro set up, you can just go control scroll up and down, and it's gonna keep on creating those items. You don't have to actually find the item that you're looking for and make and craft it. You just go control scroll, and it's gonna craft it down the list. So I just crafted a uh, spell. Um, so I just crafted a spell witcher's grand robe. I'm going to put it on the AH. It says it goes for about 5,300 uh, gold uh, market value. So I'm going to post it up on the AH. And there it's going for like 5,800. So uh, I'll uh, uncut him by a couple hundred gold. And I'll put up my uh, duration and post. And there we go. Potential gold. And after you have used after you have set up all your stuff, or like you're doing like like transmog farming, um, which I do a lot of transmog, I have like probably a couple hundred uh, transmog transmogable items, and I don't want to just post it one at a time, like with auctioneer auctionator. With uh, if you set up TSM uh, properly and you go uh, set up your formulas and everything, it's gonna go boop boop boop. It's gonna keep on scanning the auction house, so you can post up the items. 
so it took so it took me about like a minute and a half to actually just start doing this post scan. And then I'll put up a little another timer to show you how fast it posted all the items in my bags. And again, you are using the control scroll macro instead of doing it one by one. Uh, let me reset this timer. And of course, you gotta set up your duration. Um, if you haven't set that up, I like to put it, I like to set it and forget it and put it for 48 hours. So it took about almost two minutes. So I'm gonna start uh, posting up these items and start it right now. And see how quick all these items are just going down the list, going just uh, posting, posting real quick. And you could, after you're done, you could just easily just walk away. And all those uh, all those Chinese Mall item, items are just gonna go poof goodbye in about 28 seconds. So <clears throat> to actually open up this menu, usually, usually, uh, usually it pops up when you're at a bank or a guild bank. You just go over, if it doesn't show up, just type in forward slash TSM bank UI. If you set up the groups, you could just easily move your items from one uh, from your bags over to your bank or from your bank over to your bags. I put in, I'm putting all these transmogable, transmogable items back to my uh, G bank. So I'll mess with it later. And see how quick it is instead of just actually clicking on each item go click 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 it's if you set that up the groups you just go press one button and it does it by itself and i um and i'm retrieving them back just go uh go move group to bags move group to bank thank you for watching the video and have a nice day if you guys have any questions please leave a comment or message me uh via twitch or via bnet thank you and have a nice day